Hi everybody, I'm back with the 13 Haunted Projects of Halloween series. This week I am on number two. And if you guys remember, I did a tutorial this spring on this TP roll, paper towel roll, um, tag style desk organizer. So I like this so much, I wanted a Halloween one for my desk and I thought, well, maybe you guys might too. So I came up with this one. This one has a double um, tube. And of course it's still the tag style. I use squares for the platform. I made these candy corns in one of the videos in one of the seasons. I can find it and post a link below or you can just hit um, the Halloween series playlist. I'm sure you'll find these how to make them. And so my tall one I have my glue sticks again and then the small one I decided to um, store my paper clips in those. And they kind of went all the way to the bottom and I couldn't really reach them or get them out properly. So I'm just going to show you what I did. I stuck some cotton balls in on the bottom just to kind of lift everything up. So if you find, you know, when you make these and they're just a little too tall for the things you want to store, maybe stuff some cotton balls in or whatever you can find. And it just raised them up enough that it made it a little bit easier for me to grab. So that's how it turned out and that's what we're going to make today. I'm going to show you the different um, materials I used first. So I was looking through my stash and I had a bunch of witches. This was a witch costume I decided to use. This trick-or-treat embellishment here came from a very old Jolie's um, embellishment pack. And I have one left, so I'm going to use it on this one. And then this had another witch, which I already have out right now. I can peel it off. It kind of stuck to my thing here. There we go. I'm going to use this little one here. So whatever you, I'm going to show you the basics and then you guys can decorate them however you want. But I also found these cute little mummies. I thought the mummies would look cute there. Um, just help, go through your sticker stash and, you know, see what you have. And then for the moon, and clouds and the sentiment here when witches go riding and the black cats are seen the moon laughs and whispered tis near Halloween that is I'm sorry I had to look for the name real quick um, this came from paper tray ink it's the full moon set volume 8 number 114 and it comes with the moon and the clouds and then the sentiment here and for the moon, I used this gray London Fog Memento ink. And then for the rest, I used the Tuxedo Black. And for the bottom, your base piece, I used the Labels 26 from Sizzix uh, Dyes. And I'll give you the sizes I use when we do the tutorial. And then for the sentiment right here, I used this die set here that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so. Oh, and also the paper I used, the designer paper, came from Miss Sparkling Company called Paper Fence and I picked this up at Jillian's in their $1.99 bins. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to, I think we're going to make the tag first since we need the cutter for that and then the rest we can just assemble. I'm going to put this little guy out of the way here. Okay. So for the tag, my first piece was five and three quarters by three and a half, and I lined it up this point here. Let me see if I use the two inch mark. Yes. 
I line this point up here, the right side with the two inch mark. And then you're gonna take the point up top and line it up past your cut line to the half inch mark to create your tag. And you'll do the same thing on this side. Two inch, this point goes past your cut line to the half inch. Now we have our tag piece. And then the orange piece that goes on top, you're gonna do the same thing with the two inch and the half inch cut lines. This measures five and a half by three and a quarter. Right point here, pass the cut line to the half inch. Flip it around, bottom point on the two inch mark, and this point to the half inch. We created our tag, so I'm going to get my embossing folder out for the orange pieces. The embossing folder I used is this kind of cute flourish swirl pattern. I need my A plate and my B plates. guys and oh forgot the B plate on top that through. and then I'm gonna take my orange piece for the base right away and I'm gonna run that through with the embossing folder so your bottom base piece you want a four inch square. If you don't have these dies, just make yourself a four inch square. And then for the orange piece that goes on top, it's a three and a quarter inch square. And I'm also gonna emboss the orange piece as well. I love to do recycle, upcycle projects, whatever you guys wanna call them. And I just like these little desk organizers. I think they're so cute. And you can do a different theme for every holiday. Send them out in your swaps. Um, for gifts. Happy mail. Okay. Put that stuff aside. And then I took some black soot distress ink. I just went around my edges of the orange. And then very lightly, I'm going to go over the embossing just to kind of bring out the pattern a little bit more. Okay, so we did that. I'm going to do the same thing to this piece. very lightly. I'm not even pressing down. I'm just kind of going back and forth because you don't want to get too much ink on it. Okay, and those are done. We'll set that aside. I'm going to put our tag together. Oh, by the way, somebody had questioned me, oh, how did you decorate your um, glue bottle? I actually make little sleeves for these um, just for my designer paper, and then I can take them off and just store them. So if I'm doing a Halloween video, I can put my Halloween paper on. If I'm doing a regular video, I can just use any ordinary paper, um, Christmas, so on and 
so forth. So basically when you wrap it around these particular things, you just want to glue the two edges together. You don't want to glue it to the bottle and then that way you could peel it on and off. Of course, I've got to clean out my tip here. There we go. Come on, get it going. There we go. Sometimes I forget to put the pin back in it and fries up a little bit and then you're stuck with that the next time. Okay, let me line that up. And I'm going to glue our base piece together too right away. So we have our base. I'm going to finish the tag. I'm just going to punch a hole in the top here, like that. And then I have some of this. Get out my supplies here. <clears throat> have some of this spider web ribbon. And I'm going to pull some through. And as you can see, it's spider web on one side and it's just plain on the other. So I'm basically, once I get it in, I'm going to flip it and then glue it so that you can see the spider web pattern on both sides. Okay, let me trim this off a little bit here. Save that for another project. So I didn't want it to look like that, so I'm just going to flip the back tag and then I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue here. And kind of glue the front piece to the actual tag card and I'll do the same over here. A little bit of glue, a little bit on the ribbon. And I took it and I just twisted it and then glue it right up there. And then I have this really pretty white with silver border ribbon and I got that from Celebrate It at Michael's and it came with the black, the orange, and the white. So I'm just going to take a piece, tie it around our tag ribbon and create a bow. Try to create a bow. <laughs> uh. There we go. Yay! It worked. Some days these go so easy for me, and other days I am all thumbs. Okay, let me just trim that off. And then I'm going to trim up my, just make little tails there. Okay, so the tag's complete. I'm going to set that aside. We're going to work on our paper towel rolls. So everybody's TP rolls, paper towel rolls, pretty much different. Everybody has different sizes. So I'm just going to give you the measurements for mine. It may not be the same for your roll. You may have to 
you know, adjust your measurements. Basically, I painted the insides white and used Mod Podge so it would stay. And then I just um, painted my edges black because I wanted to finish them off. But you're not going to really notice it. The only part you really notice the black is on the bottom of the roll because the top here I covered with spiderweb ribbon. But for my small roll, this measures two and a quarter inches high. So the paper that I used to cover it, I measured at two by six inches. Add some glue. Basically all you do is evenly try to wrap it around your roll. And then on the end, I always go in with hot glue and really secure it. little bit of a gap in there. Okay. And then on the edge here, I like to use hot glue because I know it's really going to stay. Especially when you use like a glitter Mod Podge. Okay. So our first one is done. Keep this dry. Might want to run your bone folder over it. Got our second one here. This one measures four inches high. And like I said, you may have to adjust your measurements. I'm just gonna do this over my paper, kind of soften it up so it wraps around better. This one I used is three and three quarter inches by six inches long. Do the same thing to this one. Just gonna wrap the piece around. And then add a little bit of hot glue on the edge. And close it up. Okay. I'm going to add some ribbon. Not basically, just hot glue on the edge. I like to start in the back where there's the seam with the paper. And then run it along the whole top part here. Adding a little bit of hot glue on the way. Okay, let me trim this off. And that one's done. Same thing. With this one, I'm going to start at the seam in the back. And add a little hot glue. And then wrap it around the top. this guy together here. So my base, I'm going to want my taller one on the right side 
and I want it to leave room to decorate here. So I kind of added it where I left a little bit of the orange showing in the back, the seam towards the back, and then I left this up front here so that I could decorate it. So I just used this liquid glue versus hot glue because this dries nice and clear and I didn't want any hot glue smudges. So I'm going to go to the end. I just want to make sure this little guy fits on here so before I push it down I may have to move him over. Yep. Same thing here. I want my seam towards the back where the tag is going to go and glue them right next to each other and just press down. I'm going to dry up any excess may have come out. And then I do go along the edges and just add a little bit more glue around the base there and hold that down. You can make much larger, um, you know, desk organizers if you want. I just like the tiny ones for glue sticks and things like that. Okay. So I want to add my tag to the back. I think I'm just going to hot glue this one. But before I do, I'm going to add my moon that I've already stamped out and colored up right about here just underneath this white ribbon. So I'm going to back that up with some foam tape because I want it to be dimensional. slide that under and put the moon on. Now I added the sentiment after I glued this on because I wanted to see where it landed. I'm just going to turn these around and I'm going to add some hot glue to the seams of both rolls here. Turn it back around and slide my tag right behind. And just press it against your rolls. Okay, so I want my sentiment I think to kind of go like right about there. So I'm gonna put a piece of foam tape but I think I'm going to, yeah, just add it to the right side because some of it's going to be hanging off there. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so that's it so far. And then all you have to do is decorate it. Like I said, I made these, showed you guys how to make these quite a while ago. I will find the video and I'll post the link below. I just put these on foam dots as well. Cut two off here. Place one there and one coming out. 
And then I had these Jolene's Trick or Treat bags. And it was so cute because it came with, um, it already has like this stuff in here, but it came with these little bags of beads that say candy on them. I'm going to put this in in the back. I want to get the Trick or Treat bag on first. So I have to kind of unfold it there a little bit. And I'm going to want it in the center. So I'm going to put a little glue on this side, this side, and the bottom. And then that way it glues to the tubes as well as the bottom here. And then I fold it. I tried to push down the beads to where the sentiment is and folded this made it a little bit smaller and I got one of my candy corns out I'm going to put one of these in the bag towards the back and then fold this and put that back there as well Okay, so that's how that came out. I want the candy corn to be a little bit showing a little bit more. Okay. I like the way that's laying, so I'm just going to add some hot glue. Kind of glue it to the top there. Add a little hot glue behind the candy corn here. And then I have my little witch that I'm going to put probably right about there. But I want to put some foam on her. Let me get my skinnier one out. was so happy I found these. I didn't even remember I had them all. And I thought, how perfect are these little embellishments to go with the sentiment and the moon? And I'm going to glue that right on to that tube. And press it in. And that's it, guys. That's how I created the TP desk organizer. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and happy crafting.